Hello everyone. Um, in this part, we are going to continue where we left off from our last tutorial. So, in our last tutorial, we were able to successfully import XML data into XML Excel spreadsheet using a few different ways. And the last example we did was with using the Developer tab and the Import function. Okay. Um, so right now we have this data we combined we actually pretended we have extra data and we combined to the data that we pulled from the xml file so this is a live connection to the xml file this table here okay so normally when you <clears throat> import using the developer tab an xml map shows up here on the right hand side but for some reason it didn't show up in our example so we're going to bring that map up um, it's not that hard so all we have to do is click the source button here that's going to bring up the map that we have to the XML file so this shows the map this is like the connection to the database okay if you want to think of uh, terms of database okay so like I said we pretended we had extra data somewhere else in a different page or different workbook and we copied we merged both data together so at this point if I refresh this data since this is a live connection it's going to delete remove the data we just merged okay let's try it I'm gonna click this refresh button here and as you can see the five records that we have merged from here from a different source let's say it disappeared the removed okay all right, I'm going to tab and add this data back in. And just control C to copy and then control V to paste. Okay, so this right now, this is whole part of the map right now. I mean, if I click the selection, the properties here, select like properties of elements that are mapped against our XML file, you'll see the column is selected. Likewise with the name, likewise with the contact. Contact is the whole thing. Okay. So at this point, we are able to export this. Okay. The easiest way probably would be click export. Or you can right click on the table. And from the menu, you can select XML export. But basically the same thing. Okay, once we do that, we get presented with the export dialog box. Now we can either overwrite the existing file or we can rename the file. As a, If you want to save as a new file, we can give it a different name, say my contacts .xml. Okay, and save it. Okay, let's open the files. So this is our contacts file, the original file. And this one here is the new file that we just created with extra data in it. Again, you can overwrite the existing files. This, If you overwrite it, it's going to add the additional data to it. But we created a separate file, so whichever works for you. Okay, so that's export. Um, now at this point, since this is data, I think, well, still our link is to the, um, let me refresh this again. Yes, so the link is still to my contacts, I mean the context file, okay? Even though we save this file, as a, the whole data is a different, unless we overwrite this file, the map is against that file so uh, when you refresh it it's going to pull that so you want to pay attention a little there if you want to you know uh, use the same mapping okay so that's that now there are some cases where you have a ton of excel data you want to export to uh, xml file okay Let's say you have a 
table or well actually just raw data in Excel uh, thousands of uh, uh, rows of data and you want to export that to an XML file and then you know do whatever you want to do with the XML file okay so I'm gonna we're going to go back to the other sheet and I'm actually gonna copy this data here and pretend we have a ton of data somewhere else Actually, you know what I'm just cut, cut. We have, since we have the name see here with the titles well you know what doesn't matter really copy paste and well I don't want I keep pasting the format too so I just don't actually paste as values values okay uh, let me grab some more data from that page I'm gonna grab this part too copy and I'm gonna paste special without the format mm, values okay so now we we have less we are assuming that we have ton of data and we want to convert this to XML file okay so I'm just gonna say name here again secure column names and phone okay all right let's say I want to convert this data to an XML file all right so uh, for that I mean obviously we can use this mapping but I don't really want to use this mapping let's say we don't have a mapping okay we just have raw data and we want to export that so the way to do that we're going to need to op create a uh, sample XML file that um, mimics the uh, pattern here okay so just like our context data but we just need two records in that minimum two records in that file so I'm going to open the notepad I'm just going to create an, a simple XML file that we're going to use as a map okay so uh, let's type in our declaration version equals comma I mean double quotes 1.0 close double quotes question mark and angle bracket that's our declaration so the root elements let's say I want to create a people uh, um, root element and in the people root element I want to have person so person object and okay, this data I'm going to type in here doesn't have to be real just dummy data you can even type in like spongebob or something okay it's just going to be used as a map uh well i didn't close the person tag right person and then let's say we have a cell tag and this is one 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 that's 10 digits you can use prance if you want to in the area code let's close the person tag we have the name well not oh, sorry this I did um, I messed up here just a second so that should be the name here just have to be at the end here so let's close the name tag so person name cell and we're closing the person tag uh, let's copy and paste this once more since we need two records at least that shows the pattern of the XML file Okay, so let's change this to. I don't think we have to change this, but 
And let's change it anyway. Let's say Sam. I'm gonna leave the phone number alone. Doesn't matter. And uh, so we have two port persons object, and let's close it. Um, root element people. Okay, simple as that. So we have two persons object, and we have the parent, which is the people. All right, that should be enough for our ma mapping. I'm gonna save this as an XML file. So let's call this. Um, person schema it's not really a schema file but just to distinguish between uh, schema files or XST files but uh, again it's not that's not the point we are using this as a mapping tool schema that uh, person schema that XML we are going to use this file as a mapping okay so now that we have that, I'm going to go here, click on XML map, the button here down below here on the right hand where it says XML source, down below we have this button that says XML maps. So I'm, click, I'm going to click that. So this is our current mapping we have with the uh, sheet two table. I'm going to click add. I'm going to select that file we just created person schema okay click open it's going to display the same message we had before click OK so now we have this mapping here okay I'm going to select click OK now it displays the map that we just created okay so here we can do a either drag and drop each property to each uh, column or we can just select the whole object drag and drop right here okay once you do that it converts this to into a table and maps it so if you click now we can click on properties you'll see the co corresponding columns get selected okay right, so that means we did the mapping correctly Okay, again, this can be a large file. And now we are ready to export this file to uh, an XML file. Okay, if I, let's go back to our developer tab. Now notice that here I have the cell property, here this form property. Let's see which one it gets exported as. Okay, I'm going. I select this one. I'm gonna give the name. I'm just gonna call this people.xml file. Okay, export. Let's open our folder and check out our XML file. So it kept the property name consistent. It didn't pay attention to the table column name. It just took, I mean, um, pays attention to these properties here, the mapping here. Not the, I mean, again, it maps this to these properties. So, okay, and uh, there you have it. So, this is the people. Okay, people.xml. Okay. So that's how you export pure um, Excel data, raw Excel data, out to an XML file. Okay. I think that's it for now. I'll see you in the next tutorial. All right. Have a good day now. Thank you. Bye-bye.